So that's all the aspects of the spotlight besides light glow. Light glow, if I go to click on this, it will give me an optical effect. And the optical effect is points, stars, or a lens flare. Now keep in mind, you know, using a spotlight for this is kind of weird because usually you use um, a point light for it. So you see, not much change has occurred. I can rank it up, but you're not going to see a change. So even though the attribute exists, doesn't mean it's actually going to work very well. There's glow attributes where you can put the glow intensity up, and there's halo attributes and lens flare attributes. But again, nothing works better for um, this type of uh, effect than a point light. All right, so now let's kind of look at point lights. Let's delete this out. Point light. Point light's one of my other favorite lights. I probably use it more than anything else, only because it renders really fast. The only thing is you can't shape the light as easy as you can with the spotlight. In the spotlight, you can aim it a little bit better too. You know, like you can shape light, you can aim it, you can, it's got all the barn doors and everything. Where this is just like light emanates in all directions. The only thing I love about this is I can have a whole bunch of these little ones in the scene and it doesn't hurt the scene. It doesn't slow it down at all. Okay. All right. Now, things that it handles a little bit better than the other one. If I go light effects and I go light glow, now you'll find that it has a little bit easier time with light glow. Okay. Now let me put it in front of the object too. And let's tweak that up. Okay, in here, you can state what kind of effect, and you can see this in here. Now, also, in order to really truly see some of the some of the effects, you have to make sure some of your quality is on in your render settings. Okay, it's under production quality, sure. But is it ray traced? Yes. Okay, good. Some effects don't show up in mental ray. So let's try that in my software. But da Isn't that weird? Like mental ray is like a really, really, really good engine, but no lens effects what's up with that you know and there's a million ways to do stuff here's here's the example of why you would use do different kind of rendering uh, one to just render the actual light flare itself and the other one to render the geometry and bring the two together okay so here's just a little star Ooh. now that is what the point light does. Now, I, I barely ever use lens flare, really, to be honest with you. It's one of those things that is kind of cheap. If I, need it, if I need a lens flare, I would do it in post rendering. So, you know, here, if you don't want that on, what you do is right click on it and break connection. Shadows work just the same as with the spotlight. So you don't have nothing, nothing new to change here at all. Same quality, same everything. But light fog is a little bit different. So let's choose light fog. And when I do render, you're going to see this glow, globe of gloom here. And now what's really nice about the point light is the light radius or fog radius can go outside. And then, yeah, that's what I'm talking about. So it's almost like too dense though, right? So I could take down the intensity if I wanted to. And there we go. 
that is an, that is one of the one things I love doing is having this haze. It really makes the scene kind of cool. And all lights really do have some kind of haze coming off it. If you look at a light uh, coming off your outside house, and if you look at it just a little bit around the outside edges of the light itself, will have this haze that's appearing. Now, I have a linear exponential. If I put in linear, you're going to get a much better drop off. Okay. There we go. So another thing is about the light fog itself is the color attribute. Because color could be construed as like a little bit of yellow, a little bit of red. Um, I can make this a little bit pink. And now I start getting into the point where I could probably put this on a candle. Another thing that goes in conjunction with lights is materials. So in the next um, movie video, I'm going to cover how to kind of use them in conjunction with each other.